All right, so after about 15 minutes of fighting with this absolute piece of shit phone, I am very dissatisfied with LG products at the moment. Um, anyway, we finally get the video started. If anybody remembers, this is my 2001. Um, it's pretty much a MTD branded Husky with a little four horsepower brace and Stratton on it that I have run hot, pushed off in water, uh, ran it without oil in the crank, and then we also ran it without an exhaust for a while, and then I let it sit out in the in the yard for about five six years, and then I bent the blade or the um, we bent the uh, actual crankshaft on the engine got bent when um, I hit this rock in the yard, and so we took the blade off. And we beat the crank, and then I had to beat the little oil seal back in the bottom of the block that fell out. And it's still running, I think. It's been sitting now for uh, three, two, two years. We're going to say a year and a half. Underneath my basement, in the cold, in the dark. As you can see, there is mold and all kinds of wonderful things growing all over this mower. Also, it does not have an air cleaner. That is a piece of shorts or some type of terry cloth that I obviously improvised as an air cleaner the rusted spark plug I don't know if there's oil in the motor and honestly just for the sake of YouTube I'm not even going to check if there is oil the only thing I've done was I opened the tank and it was full of brown looking turpentine smelling gas so naturally, I just dumped some fresh fuel in on top of it. So you know, that ought to mix nicely. I haven't even pulled the handle to see if it was seized. I literally rolled it out, poured gas in it, and then fought with this stupid phone for like 20 minutes. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cold start it. I've already put the fuel in it. That thing is severely disgusting. I'm going to touch it anyway. I love you guys. Okay. I can feel it building fuel. I've not even been counting how many pumps this is. We're going to pump it a couple more times. Now I got that shit all over my fingers. Thanks a lot, guys. And then I'm going to set this bad boy up on its little makeshift piece of crap tripod. And hope that I... Uh, that's going to have to work. I'll move the mower over here so y'all can see. Assuming that's in focus. Oh yeah. All right. So here it goes. And the bars are a little bent. All right. Oops! I forgot something. Yes, that was one pull. But before I forget, because y'all are gonna think I fucking cheated. It's actually a tad bit warm now. But, you know. Anyway. It was cold. I am sorry I didn't touch it first. I completely fucking forgot. But it is cold. Completely. I'm talking, you know. You know. Not a thing. It's cold. Although it ran for like three seconds. That was the first pull in about a year and a half. And it did not stall out. I let go of the handlebars because I forgot to prove to y'all it was cold. And now I just proved it was cold. So I'll fire it up again, if it will. Alright. We're not going to pump it again this time. We're not going to prime it. I'm just going to pull it and see if it'll crank under normal sections. All right. Pull cord's, pull cord's a little bit worn out. But that freaking thing runs. First pull after about a year and a half to sit with fresh gas. 
Briggs and Stratton. When you say reliable starting, you fucking mean it. God damn. And the only reason I pulled it out is because the ride mower has flat tires, and I'm going to mow our front yard. I just got all the leaves up. They're in a pile around the edge of the driveway. I'm going to mulch all those up and bullshit. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the freaking piece of shit, super reliable Murray, or MTD. Yeah.